Mm-mm. We will now hold a meeting on our investigation of the serial kidnapping slash murder case here in Inaba. Dude, take a breath. <gasps> oh, oh no! Oh, you escaped. Never mind. This place our special headquarters. <laughs> yeah, super secret. Yes, exactly. Nicely put, Yukiko. Special headquarters. Hmm, that does have a nice ring to it. Anyways, as for what was on last night, it was <laughs> I watched Looney Tunes. Who was that? I saw it too. I couldn't get a good view of the person's face, but it was a guy, wasn't it? It was. It looks like a high schooler. So that's how I looked on TV. Well, not quite. You looked a bit worse. Hmm. Wait a moment. Didn't all the victims have one thing in common? That they were females with ties to the first incident? Correct. That's what we thought. But we still don't know who exactly we saw. In my case, the image on the Midnight Channel changed after I was kidnapped, right? Correct. Yeah. The screen got clear all of a sudden, and the program looked like some low-budget TV show. Come to think of it, maybe Teddy was right. Maybe we were seeing the other Yukiko from that world. Ooh, the shadow Yukiko. But last night, we couldn't clearly see whoever it was. Could that mean he isn't inside the TV yet? Ah, critical thinking! If so, then... He's still safe for now. Uh-huh. I think that's safe to assume. If we can figure out who he is, can we prevent him from being taken? Hopefully. Yeah. And if all goes well, we might catch the killer in the bargain. But to do that, we need to know who the latest Midnight Channel star is. I hate to say it, but I guess we'll have to wait another night and see what happens. Do we have to? There's stuff I want to do. <clears throat> Well, that means if my deductions are correct... Please, no. Though the image was hard to make out, and we can't say for sure who it was, it was definitely a young male. That fucking narrows it down, doesn't it? But if that's the case, it goes entirely against our prior assumptions. True. Since we cannot identify the person at this time, we have no choice but to wait and see what happens. That's exactly what we just said. We just literally just went over this. Shut up! No, you shut up. <laughs> You're so funny, Chie. <laughs> oh no, my, my funny bone. <laughs> Not again. Well, at least she's cheered up. Sorry. <laughs> This is how Yukiko really is, huh? Who'd have thought? By the way, about that guy we saw? I get the feeling I've seen him before. You have? Pretty recently, too. On TV? Oh, you too? Yeah, I've been thinking the same thing since last night. Put it together. Well, let's check the TV again tonight and think about it more tomorrow. Put it together. Crazy hyena? <laughs> That's a good one, Chie. I've, asked, I've only ever laughed that hard once where I physically couldn't stand. I don't even remember what it was. I just remember buckling over in You're laughter. Back. Yes, I am. Bye bye. We still can't do anything. So let's watch TV. Again. It's raining tonight. Does something appear on TV? A figure appeared! It's unfocused. I'm sure I've seen this person before. I did. It might be Kanji Tatsumi. Yeah, I think so too. Oh, thank God. I knew I saw him somewhere. It was on TV. He was on that special news report. He's one scary dude. He was even yelling at the camera to get bent. Oh, wow. Got a badass over here. Fucking Bart Simpson from the 90s. All right. So we finally have a lead. Let's all get together tomorrow, okay? Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. 
It's kind of off subject, but as long as you're on the line, mind if I ask something? Is that what about? It's something I've been meaning to ask for a while. Oh. So, uh, what do you think about Yukiko and Chie? Uh. I mean, well, let's not mince words. Which one's your type? What? Now, if you choose one, you don't get anything. If you choose both, you get a point of understanding. But I want courage. So we're going to say neither. And we're now reliable. It's sad, but that's not average. <laughs> kind of harsh, don't you think? Well, I kind of understand. They're great girls, but you saw their ugly sides right off. And I guess your first impression is the one that sticks. I mean, I also just don't care. Hey, but don't worry. This is just between you and me. I don't trust you. Okay, see you tomorrow. <laughs> Dude, the fuck I was that at midnight? What do you think about your new friends? In that way. The one who was on last night. It's that guy, right? Yeah, that guy! Kanji Tatsumi, huh? He definitely didn't look like the social type. I mean, fair. Now there is an understatement. Isn't he really scary? Did you see the new special the other day? Yeah, he almost didn't swear. Yeah, I saw it. You mean the special on biker gangs? I watched it too. It wasn't like that when he was younger, though. You know him, Yukiko? Uh huh. But we haven't talked to each other in a long time. His family runs a textile shop, and we've been a customer of theirs for many years. Bat tracks. So I speak with Kanji Kun's mother from time to time. Oh, why don't we go there now? We might be able to talk to him in person. Well, that actually is a good plan. Sounds good. At the very least, we can ask if anything strange has come up lately. Oh yeah, that's how to start a conversation with a stranger. I wouldn't want to run into him in a dark alley, but I'm pretty sure he won't fly off the handle at his family's store. <laughs> I'm recording someone. Hey, you've seen something strange around here? Yes, fucking you! All right, then let's get going. If things get rough, we're counting on you guys. Wait, what? I didn't agree to that. Hello. Ah, Yuki-chan. It's so nice to see you. Well then, if you'll excuse me, ma'am. I'm sorry that I couldn't help more. Huh. It's all right. You've given me plenty to think about. Thank you. Huh. Well, they've got a portrait. They might, might not be important until later. What's up with him? Weirdo. Ah, well. Uh, never seen him before. Yuki-chan, you're as lovely as always. Your features are starting to remind me of your mother when she was young. Oh, that's nice. How can I help you today? Are you out shopping with your friends? Yes. Oh, um, well, actually... And by that I mean no. Hey, this scarf. I've seen this somewhere before. Huh. Oh, you're right. Where was that? Oh, it was that place inside the TV! What? That's right. That room with those faceless posters. Ignore us, old woman. Then it's that announcer's. Are you acquaintances of Miss Yamino? Oh, yeah, that part you heard. Thank God. Uh, well, kinda. Selective hearing saves the day for us. Oh, dear God. Um, did Miss Yamino happen to have a scarf like this? Yes, it was a special order she placed. She actually ordered a pair, but in the end, she said she only wanted the women's scarf. Aww. It left us with no choice but to sell this one separately. Oh man, there is a connection to the first case. What are we going to do? Panic. How should I know? Hello? Delivery here for the Tatsumis. Oh, I'll be right there. I'm sorry. You'll have to excuse me. Of course. Oh, it's okay. We should get going. I'll come again, ma'am. Is that so? Well, then please say hello to your mother for me. Will do. 
Bye. It really is connected to the first case after all. But it's just a scarf. Would the killer target someone just because of that? Yes. Damn it, what's going on? Killers don't need a reason to kill. Come on, let's talk outside. It's Kanjikun. Well, quick, hide! Where? Oh yeah, that's hiding. I'm not fooling anyone, you know. Shh, I can't hear what they're saying. T Tomorrow's fine with me, huh? S school. Of course I'm going to school. Then I'll meet you at the gates after school tomorrow. Sounds like a plan. D did he? Did he say he was interested? He's a guy, and I'm a guy, but he's interested in me? Huh? What the hell are you pricks looking at? The thing behind you! Run away! <gasps> that scared the hell out of me! He's even worse in person than on TV! You only called you, you, only called you pricks! That's like a greeting in Scotland. One on TV last night was definitely Kanjikun. Yeah, and I just realized something. What? Remember the common points we were talking about? His mom fits the pattern. She's a woman, and she knew Ms. Yamano. Right. It was her son who appeared on TV. So what does that mean? Absolutely nothing. Kanji's the target. Yeah, that's what it seemed like based on the TV image. But his mother fits the pattern more than he does. But she didn't get a profile picture, so obviously it's not her. Oh, maybe it's similar to my case. If you think about it, my mother fit the victim profile more than I did. She was the one who dealt directly with Miss Yamano, but I was the one who was targeted. That's the point. Does that mean it'll be the kid again instead of the mother? But if that's true, then the killer's motive makes no sense at all. Killers don't need a motive. It'd have nothing to do with silencing witnesses or revenge or anything. You think we're on the wrong track? Maybe even the first case had nothing to do with grudges or revenge. Or is there some kind of secret in the textile shop itself? What secret will she hold? Oh, I'm totally lost. But we can't ignore this. I mean, we can. Hmm. Why don't we just go ahead and ask Kanji himself? Oh yeah, just actually use communication, not run away. We could at least see if anything odd's happened lately. He scares the wits out of me, but... Hey, wasn't Kanji making plans with that weird kid a moment ago? Something about meeting up at school? I heard he's been skipping school ever since the new year started. Doesn't that seem a little suspicious? Oh no, he just doesn't like school. Yeah, something did seem weird. It's suspicious, alright. There's something funny going on here. I can sense it. Okay. Sense? You sound like Teddy. Still, we might find some clues. All right. Let's try staking out both Kanji and his family's store. Oh, that works. We definitely don't want the killer getting ahead of us. That being said, Yukiko, can I have your cell number? Hey, was this your plan all along? Uh, no. <laughs> I got everybody's phone number except for hers. He's as subtle as a brick. And the Y section of my address book needs some filling out. <sighs> While we're on the subject, could you stop calling me at night just to tell dirty jokes? Yes, gay. You really sound like a pervert. God damn it. Hey, I'm trying to have a conversation with Yukiko here. That's not, for fuck's sake. Hmm. Oh, that reminds me. I need to buy tofu on my way home. How does that remind you of tofu? Oh, she didn't hear a word I said. Okay, then. The stakeout is set for tomorrow. Hmm. Stakeouts? Tailing people? <laughs> I'm getting goosebumps. Okay, we are going to be creeps and stalk someone. Welcome home. Thank you. If you thought we could do something tonight, you're wrong. Where are you going to bed? Has the 
target arrived at school? Yes, ma'am. Visual ID confirmed. Okay, we're doing this now, are we? Target arrived in zone near the end of his mess break, with mother issued rations in hand. Oh, for fuck's sake. Current status, in the bathroom, fixing his hair. The target was acting nervous. I left my position before he had a chance to pick on me. I wonder what kind of plans they made. It didn't seem like he knew that boy very well. Well, I think there's something more subtle. Oh, he's here. Don't let you left, don't let you left, don't let you left. I didn't keep you waiting, I hope. No, I uh, I just got here too. <laughs> That's it. What in the world was that? Thank you. Anyways, we gotta hurry after them or we'll lose them. Okay. Then let's split up into two groups. One team will follow Kanji, and the other will stake out the shop. Makes sense. Roger that! How should we split the teams? We'll pair with Yoki Yukiko because we have to. Sure, that's fine with me. Oh man, they're almost out of sight! Come on, Yosuke! So I'm pairing up with Chie? Uh, okay. <laughs> Alright, we'll need to pretend we're on a date to make it look natural. What? Not in a million years. There'll be no need for that if we stay out of sight. Sheesh. Let's hurry up and go. Oh, that'll go so well. I wonder if those two will be all right. They won't. Oh, um, that leaves us in charge of staking out the textile shop. Yay! So, shall we? We shall. Sorry about the wait. This one's for you. Yay, free drink! Everything seems fine at the shop. I hope it stays that way. It better. Do you think the culprit will come? In broad daylight? I doubt it. Our efforts might be fruitless. But maybe that's for the best. Exactly. It would be scary if the culprit did show up. And what are we going to do? You're going to wave a fan at him and go hit him with a golf club? Actually, a golf club would work really if well. If do, I'll do what I can to help you catch them. Thank you. You all saved my life. I don't want to be the only one doing nothing. Oh, you do much more than Yosuke. I mean, I'm sure there's something I can do. Oh, sorry. I went on and on without realizing. I, I guess I'm a little nervous. Ah, uh, that's fine. That's understandable. I've never chatted with a boy my age like this before. <laughs> I mean, is your... Oh, well, it doesn't really count. Chie, of course, has no problem getting along with guys because of her personality. But I think she's had more fun hanging out with you and Yosuke lately. Hooray! <laughs> the same is true for me. Oh, thanks, you. Why are you blushing? Oh, right. Social link. Vow our tie and I am Vow. Vow has established a new bond that brings thee closer to the truth. Vow shall be blessed when creating personas of a priestess arcana. We can now get Yukiko leveled up in social link stuff. I could have said that much better. Uh, we can try and ask her straight out. Oh! Uh -huh. Okay you want. Can't always answer since I help out around the inn, but feel free to call any time. I didn't realize I was high enough courage for that. Whoops. I mean, it doesn't matter. I want to do it anyway. Man, this is weird. It really is. Yeah. We definitely stand out. Because you're crouched behind a tree. No, I mean them. I get this weird feeling about them. Weird? What about them's weird? Also not, you're not hiding behind a tree. You're leaning in beside it. Um, I don't know how to put it. Maybe it's just my imagination. <laughs> hey, how do you think the others are doing? They're doing nothing. Beats me. 
For all we know, he's hitting on Yukiko as we speak. Not everyone's like you. All right? Yeah, no. He's not like you. Thank you. Yukiko doesn't seem to be interested in that stuff any... <gasps> Wait, are you saying he's interested in her? No. Huh? I, I, I wouldn't know. No, you do know. I said we no. don't really talk about that kind of stuff. <laughs> now I'm even more suspicious. You know something, don't you? I seriously don't know. It's not like we've been hanging out that long. What the hell are you two doing? Talking. Oh, well, you see, we're... We're just two crazy lovebirds. What do you mean, bird? Play along, bird brain. <laughs> That's what he means by bird. Didn't I see you guys yesterday? No. <laughs> Come on. It just so happened that we were walking behind you guys. Pure coincidence. Hey, our houses are just over that way, so we'll be going now. Um, look, we weren't planning on getting in you guys' way, and there's nothing strange about it either. S strange? Yeah. Why can't you keep your big mouth shut? God damn it, it's real D and real dumbass. Whoa, 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 wait. Damn it! You say what you think. Y you got it all wrong. Uh, hey! Are you listening, damn it? No! It seriously ain't like that! Stop chasing us! We regret to inform that our mission failed. God damn it. There was nowhere to hide. You didn't even try hiding! Well, let's wait here a little longer. Maybe Kanji-kun will come home. Hopefully. Yeah. Huh? What are you guys doing here? Talking. You're those stupid lovebirds I just saw. We're not a couple. Why are you assholes following me around? Damn it, what the hell's going on? I ain't saying this is you guys' fault. Oh, that's nice. But damn it. Hey, uh, mind if we ask something? Has anything strange happened to you lately? Huh? Strange? Oh no. What's this strange stuff, huh? Are you saying that I'm strange? I mean, you're a bit angry. Huh? No, 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 I, I didn't mean... You shitheads better get the hell out of my face or I'm taking you down! What? Wait, why? I look like I'm joking! Ah! <laughs> I'm forgetting about that. running well nothing happened today so i guess everything's okay nothing but it's already been a few days since he appeared on the midnight channel if this is anything like yukiko's case it'll happen soon nah and we can't let our guard down i think we should come back tomorrow to check up on him looks like we got no choice let's go home i'm wiped you wouldn't be so wiped if you're better at stealth Thank you. I'm gonna I'm going to rest for seven hours. Yellow. Hello. It's Yukiko. I'm sorry to call so late. Kanji Kun seems to be missing. Oh fuck's sake. I had some calls to make for the inn, so I called the textile shop as well. When I spoke to Kanji Kun's mother. She told me that he left the house and hasn't returned since. She did say that this happens all the time, but what do you think? He's in a TV. It sounds bad. I think so too. He could be. It's going to rain again tonight. Maybe the midnight channel will come on. It is literally midnight. Sure something happened to or not. I'm in front of a TV. I'll make sure to check out the TV at midnight. Talk to you later. Or is it not midnight? Why was I just saying in front of a TV then? Why were we standing in front of a TV if it wasn't midnight yet? Oh, this is something on the screen. Ooh, oh no. Hello, dear viewers. 
It's time for bad, bad bathhouse. What? Tonight I'll introduce a superb sight for those searching for sublime love that surpasses the separation of the sexes. Too much alliteration. I'm your host, Kanji Tatsumi, serving you this scandalously special sneak in report. There's other letters other than S. Goodness gracious, just imagine the things that might happen to me there. Woo! Well then, let's get this show on the road. Toodaloo! Who <laughs> walks like that? That was Kanji. It really was. Calm down. But that was completely over the top. Though it really was Kanji. Or Kanji Shadow. Damn it, we guessed right, but he still slipped through our fingers. If only we'd held our ground and stayed there a little longer. <sighs> In any case, that place that was behind him, what do you think it is? A superb sight for those searching for sublime love? I just don't get it. Neither do I. Anyways, we better hurry and come up with a plan tomorrow. Let's go to bed. <sighs> Given the pattern so far, Kanji's already inside the TV. I wonder what the Midnight Channel really is. Fucked up. one of those paranormal things but when i gave it a try it was real i mean it's still paranormal turns out it's actually connected to another world fast class is paranormal if there's a rumor going around that means a bunch of people are watching it how did the rumor go if you stare into a turned off tv on a rainy night no one in their right mind would try something that ridiculous don't you think unless someone urged them to which you did but if you actually try, it does work. And not just once. If this rumor spreads and everyone starts watching the Midnight Channel... It could cause a huge panic. Or Kanji is shown to be in a bathhouse. If Teddy is right, the missing people themselves create the stuff we see. So it's not random. It's specifically related to whoever goes missing. Huh. Yukiko had a show too. But she doesn't remember doing anything like that. It's the shadow. Um, this might be a little off subject, but the culprit is probably watching the shows that come on, right? Right. No doubt. He's probably sitting back and enjoying... Oh, wait a sec. I bet he is enjoying it. He's probably laughing his head off watching the show that comes on after he throws people into the TV. That tracks. Oh, I get it. Yeah, it's definitely possible. Ugh. Now when I think of the killer, I get this image of a total sicko. I want to see everything about you, Yuki-chan. Oh, eh, eh. <laughs> uh, I miss some of these voice lines. Wait. So if people saw Yukiko's show, do you think people were watching what happened to me too? It's a possibility. Oh, that is it! That killer is dead meat! I'm gonna leave footprints all over his face! Guys! First we save Kanji, then we crush the killer! Good to, have, good to know your priorities are in the right order. Finally, we crush the killer and send him to hell! Got it? I like how none of our classmates are wondering why you keep talking about the killer. Level up! Two were the same thing. I mean, how's it gonna say anything? Uh, I know. Uh... Hey, Teddy. Hey, Teddy. Someone's here, right? Oh, yep. I think someone's here. 
You think? Do you know where he is? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? We think it's a boy named Kanji. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? What's wrong? Not feeling well? Well, I sniff and I sniff, but I still can't tell where the smell comes from. Aren't you thinking too much about too many things? I mean, last time you were wondering about who you really are and how long you've been here. But it seems important to think about. Your head's empty to begin with, dude. Don't stress out over stuff too much. You're right. Whoa, he's seriously down about this. If you can't figure out where Kanji is, we're in deep trouble. We can't just wander around aimlessly in a place like this. I know what might help. You should give me a clue about this Kanji person. It's just a feeling I have. I think I could concentrate better with it. Do you have anything that could give me a good understanding of him? Something about Kanji, huh? I can't really think of anything besides all the rumors about him. Yeah, it's not like we know him that well. Yeah, it's not like we know anything. I just need some sort of hint. Something that tells me what he's really like. Uh. Why don't we ask around and find people who know Kanji Kun personally? There's an idea. So, here's where things get a bit silly. We can't go into the dungeon right away. We now need to hunt down. Where the fuck is Kanji? Now, before we do that, we need to go back to school. We have two things to do. We actually need to go to first the classroom building. Because we have two more quests that we can get, and this is the wrong way already. The first of two quests. Yeah, she's hiding here. You don't know unless you come hunt for her. You certainly can do. Ooh, that's... So you need a stick. Oh, that... I mean, that tracks. Oh. I might know a few places. <laughs> if you find me a suspicious pole. And the other one means go to practice building. Second floor. She is all the way over here. So we do get a we do get a little text thing if you do this while hunting for kanji. This is the day it becomes available, by the way, these two. Wait, why is he using your desk? I think I can help. So, you should have, if we go to quests. Five quests that we have to hunt for. Plus this one. This one doesn't count. This one we can get for free. But we have... Well, actually, no. We have six. I don't know why I stopped there. Sorry. I had to answer a call. Um, so we have six quests. All of these can be done when we go rescue Kanji. Can I turn in that girl on the rooftop quest? We can. No worries, we get a free go home, and that's a quest completed. So to actually progress the story, what we need to do is we need to go talk to his mum. And you can find her right here. What? yeah, must be that guy in the hat. So we now need to search for the boy. Uh, you can hunt all over. Eventually you will find someone who will say where? But you can just jump straight there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy some SP heal items and I'll show you where you find uh, the person who can help us find the boy. Oh! We got the prize! We get a free drink if you do it. Oh! This is an achievement by the way. I don't know what the odds are. Oh. Anyway, moving on. So, if we talk to this girl in the apron, I'm looking for a small boy wearing a hat, yes. Oh, that's good. Oh, we missed him. Yep. So, if you leave us at the last minute, 
you can fuck it up by... You have to do two days worth of hunting. So we'll come back tomorrow to hunt. I don't know why I'm saying hunt as if we're chasing down the kid. Uh, but what we will do... We're going to go to the shrine. We're going to turn in a quest! And this will get us another... Well, another level in the social link. Whee! Our rush has been grand, you're all good. Yay! Yay! <laughs> So as I mentioned previously, that's 5 yen per SP off. It's at, 10, at 5 SP discount, so it's now 55 yen per SP. Yeah. Great fun, isn't it? Let's go home. Oh, welcome home, big bro. Thank you, Nanako. We're safe, because I've not done that in a while. So what we want to do today is we want to work on origami cranes because we want an understanding bonus. <laughs> but I, is this just so we can collect it? Oh no. Let your eyes relax. <laughs> That's... I don't know if that affects anything, but it's just nice. Oh. Aw. Oh.